Hi, I'm Sarah Ness with Connection Core. And today, we're going to be exploring a little bit about the skill of empathic listening. Have you ever been in a situation that went kind of like this? Oh, I've been so annoyed. I've been working with this woman, and I was brought in on this project. I'm there to help, and she treats me like I'm the enemy. And like I could get her in trouble, but I don't want to. I mean, I don't want to be like that. I want to be helpful. You know. Okay. So last time that happened to me, I mean, I just told my boss about her. Like, seriously, girl, you got to stand up for yourself. You can't just let her walk all over you. I mean, do you want to be a pushover? Is that really who you are? Not much fun, is it? In a lot of connection, we want to figure out what to say to have the other person feeling heard. But it's sometimes hard to know how to do that. In normal conversation, we might give advice, we might share a story about how that's happened to us. We might feel so really tense and not know how to say it. So there are three steps that I see to empathic listening. Listen, reflect, affect. First step is listening. In conversation, I know for me, a lot of the time what's going through my head is, OK, what am I going to say next? Talked about her mother. Um, okay, so there was that thing with my mother the last week. I could, I could like make up. I have a story about that. Or, um, ooh, like what was the word that she used? Like I kind of want to um, really like say that that hit me somehow. And man, did I did I put on deodorant today? Oh wait, somebody's telling me a story. We're so caught up in what's happening inside our own head that we don't actually get to hear the person in front of us. A lot of the time, what people want is just to feel heard. So the first step is to listen. Second step, reflect. What I heard you say is. This lets the other person know that you were listening, that you weren't so caught up in your own reality that you couldn't actually be present to them. Reflection is the simplest way to show them that. You know, when you talked about your mother, I heard you say that you were sad. Or, it sounds like this is really difficult for you. Whatever it is, just tell them what you heard. Third step, affect. What did it feel like to be with them? The greatest gift we can sometimes give people is just letting them know that they affect us, that we're with them enough to feel something. So when you talked about your relationship, my stomach dropped, and I really wanted to give you a hug. Or I felt really uncomfortable, and I kind of want to put pause on the conversation for a minute. Letting people know what's true for you keeps a connection actually connected. So next time you're talking to somebody, try these steps. Listen, reflect, affect, and let us know what happens. Until next time.